I have been playing Layers of Fear, developed by Bloober Team. This is an all-new psychological horror game, and Bloober Team is a developer that I'm very excited by. I really enjoy their games. I thought the medium was fantastic. Observer was very interesting and original. I played Layers of Fear VR on the PSVR, and in fact, that's the only entry in the Layers of Fear series that I've previously played. I haven't gotten enough time with this game to provide a full review. Uh, it turns out that being a parent of small children makes it very difficult to find time to play horror titles. You really gotta carve out special time for the scary stuff. Uh, otherwise, I'm not the only one who will be shitting my pants. <laughs> This all new Layers of Fear is kind of like a collection title. It provides a through line narrative where you are playing as a writer in a creepy lighthouse, trying to find your inspiration and your muse as you write the stories from the previous games in the series. It's a really cool way to kind of tie everything together and provide one full package. Now, as I said before, I've only played Layers of Fear PSVR. And so I was curious if these would be abridged versions of those previous games. Uh, but at the point that I'm in Layers of Fear right now, it appears that it is the full versions plus additional content. So this is a meaty game. This is a large game. You're probably asking yourself watching this video, how scary is Layers of Fear? Boo! I got you. I know I got you. Layers of Fear is essentially a haunted house simulator. There's not much combat. There's not much gameplay in regards to like leveling up or collecting um, weapons or items. The puzzles are very light. And in fact, everything about Layers of Fear is drenched in psychological horror. It's all about twisting your perception. Layers of Fear is really good at kind of turning the screws making you question what's happening around you, if it's real, if you're just kind of losing your mind, looking in the shadows for creatures or supernatural threats that may or may not be there. Maybe it's all in your head. It is certainly not lacking in the scare department. It's all about ambiance. If you're a person that gets really drawn into psychological horror, this is kind of top tier entertainment for you. I'll be having my full review here at Megadez just as soon as I can get through the weeds. This is a game that I kind of have to take in small bites. I can't play too much of it because it really racks on my anxiety. Um, and of course you have to play it in optimal conditions. As a dad, as a mega dad, I can't be playing this game while the kids are in the background doing cartwheels and singing Frozen songs. Like I gotta, I gotta make sure that I take my time and play this game right. And then I will have a thoroughly vetted full review for you right here at youtube.com slash megadads. Thank you for checking out this first impressions. We will see you soon right here where gamer life meets real life. Boom! I got you. I know I got you. You, you don't even have, you don't play with me. You peed your pants just a little bit. If you did pee your pants, make sure that you leave it in the comments. Tell me how much you peed your pants and how warm it was.